Look, from my point of view, it's been a big 24 hours, but it's, it's been a big month, um, you know, going through the process and speaking to the club and getting a better understanding of where the club's at. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to what I know will be you know, a good chance for us to turn things around. I, I know they're hungry. That was the one message that, that was coming through loud and clear over the phone was, look, we're really keen to get back involved, get back on board and, and start training. I know a number of them are out you know, running on the streets already and, and out doing their work. So, so that's a good sign. It shows that our group are, are keen to get back into it. We've, we've got some really experienced players, obviously the Crouch brothers and Sloaney in and around that football. You know, whether we now get the opportunity to have a look at a, a few other young guys through there, um, you know, McHenry, whether we have a look at Jones in and around the footy, you know, we're talking some leg speed now and some run. Uh, so that's adding something you know, that we haven't seen over the last 12 months. Um, I love our back line, I think we're rock solid down there, obviously Lady and, and Smith, Smithy, but whether we have a look there as well and you know, we might, might have a look at some of those in slightly different positions. Um, I've always put people first, um, I'm all, again, all about good people, so uh, you know, in my version of a good, a good person is someone who puts others first, um, you know, prioritises others. Um, that's been my philosophy as a coach right throughout, um, right from when I was a development coach at, at the start. Yeah, if we can get our group back to that, I, I have no doubt that it's a quick turnaround. Um, you know, players will play for each other. It's amazing how you can find that little bit extra when you know, the guy alongside you, you know he's got your back and there's a, there's a mutual respect there. Well, I think if you watch you know, a lot of the best teams in, in the world at the moment, not just in our sport, but, but across the world, what, what you see is a, a, the, the common theme with all of it is that the players just um, have the utmost respect for each other. Um, you know, their relationships are strong, they work together um, and they prioritise each other. As a player, I, I was part of the, the Sydney Bloods culture and we, um, and we had huge respect for each other. So we, that's why we performed at the level consistently. We went through a stay, a process of, of getting to that. You know, it wasn't something that happened overnight. From my experience, um, you know, you need to empower people. I'm, I, I find if we can get that into our players and they, they'll start to run the show themselves and you don't want to make yourself, you, know, you don't want to get yourself out of a job, but what you do want to get to is, is you can't run on the ground at crucial times in games and we want our players to get to a point where they can read scenarios, you know, they understand the game and they also understand how their teammate works. So by empowering them, and again I'll go back to experiences I've had, the, the best teams I've seen and the teams that have performed um, at their best were simple game plan, plenty of empowerment for players where players had a voice. Um, and then, you know, complete support from a coaching group. Look, a lot of it's going to be around embracing contest. Um, the game is made up of just one contest after the other. We'll actually try to seek out a contest rather than embrace. I think um, we've got a group that enjoy it already. Um, you know, talking to a number of the, the players, they we've got some guys that like putting their head in the hole and enjoy that that physical side of the game. So, so we'll embrace that and we'll take it to the opposition. It, it's a it's a game of errors. It's a game of turnovers. Um, the team that can uh, that can capitalise on those the most when the opposition make a mistake are, are often the ones that come through and are right up there in the top four coming in the year. If you mention the word defence, people think it's <laughs> vanilla and boring. Some some of your best offence comes off your best defence is, is one of my mottos. And, and I've seen football played at its best, um, and we, we've watched it this year, and, and a lot of people will talk about some of the best teams in the comp, while well, they play exciting football. A lot of it comes off elite defence. Um, We'll have a focus on that. We'll have that as one of our priorities. Um, but that'll allow us to play some really fast, exciting footy. Um, and again, that's about inflicting damage and we'll come back to that. But for, for our supporters, I can guarantee them what you will see. You'll go away from our games proud of you know, the, the way the guys have gone about it. It's, it's not so much about the win-loss. Initially, it'll be more about, look, guys, how are we playing our footy? Um, we'll come off of the game and the result will look after itself if our guys are, are getting some of that right. It's important for me to be here and, and meet as many people as I can and um, you know, I'll do whatever I can to get around, meet supporters, meet you know, some of our staff in, in administration, uh, get around our whole football department and, and just get an idea and get an understanding and build relationships with people. Um, I'm going to ask the players to do that as well. Um, you know, I'm really keen for us to, to sort of get the family back together and, and get everyone on board so we all feel a part of it.